That's amazing. Hundred-year-old tree, ten thousand dollars. Ken and I went shopping at the landscape show in Orlando, Florida. Then we'll take a look at my 24-inch Peroon shark and my very rare shell-loving shark, Pangasius conchophilus. And we finally silicone that large pane of glass onto the 1,100-gallon plywood tank. That's all tropical fruit. I don't know if you're ever into fruit. I love but fruit. It goes. That's it's, all fruit. That's like you could feed your tortoises with some of these plants, you know? Like, uh, I don't know what species we've got here. Soursop. Soursop. No way. That's guanabana. So that's, uh, we have a restaurant down uh, it called uh, guanabanas. That's how you say soursop. Um, so that's a soursop tree. That's really cool. Sugar apple? No way. I bought so, this. I bought this. What? This plant? This, no, I bought this booth. What do you mean? You bought all the plants? I bought these trees. That's amazing. Whole, dude, and what is a tree like this going for? I bought the whole booth for 700. Oh my God, dude. No, it's 700 here. Yeah, yeah. I got to pay someone to bring it to my house. I got to pay oh someone God. to put it in the ground. But look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh. That is beautiful. You can't take me anywhere. Yeah, he's knocking guys' boots over over here. Look. Oh, look, here's a... Oh, here comes my receipt. <laughs> There's a receipt. Look at that. Okay. He really did do it. <laughs> You're crazy. Like, you, you are like a... Uh, you're, you're like the most dangerous man in a plant or animal show because you buy everything. I. Good grief. These are beautiful. So what, what species are we looking at this here? This is Bacario Phoenix. This is the frozen coconut. Wow. Okay. These and sometimes, they sometimes die. I don't know if you guys know that. These sometimes die. Yeah. If you don't plant them right. No, they, they, um, they shock. Oh, you dig really? them, they shock, and sometimes they take a year to die. Oh, wow. It's That's very, horrible. It's, ve it's very discouraging. Well, how old is this plant, do you think? Six years, six years old? Oh, how old is this one? This one is about six years. That's six six years. years. Okay. That's amazing. So this is my business here. It's Holt Nursery. That's awesome. I see a little universal rock here, too. How yeah. you going, man? I love it, dude. Check it out. That is really nice. I mean, so you won best booth here. of this size right here yeah, yeah. get out of here congratulations best, best that's, booth 10 by 20. that's nice you guys did a great job i guess there yeah, yeah <laughs> no worries it looks beautiful man i love the uh this is like a zero escaping you know like a desert a mm. desert scene with all the succulents but that's beautiful really really nice and again this is your look at this you got your venus fly trap pitcher plants you wouldn't see it but i actually have pitcher plants near my recreation pond Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, they've probably been overcrowded by all the ferns that have grown up, but it's pretty cool. You got your videos guy. going? I got my videos going. I got my... That's awesome. Very cool, man. Yeah. I love it. But I, I mean, look at this. I just, I love this. This gives me ideas uh, insofar as how I would want to create habitats. But this is amazing, man. I love it. It's beautiful. So what are we doing as far as uh, our jungle... Uh, adventure here that we're okay, trying to create. Well, I wanted you to get ideas for like a signature plant. This kind of plant could be at the point. Yep. Could potentially be a point plant and then other plants here, but like you'd walk around like this. You know, you'd walk around this and then you'd walk this way and maybe there's some bamboo there. So you'd just be wandering and snaking your way through. That being said, I want to keep it large enough that I can get a machine through. Mm. Uh, but I think, yeah, I mean, this would, this is so. I have, I have um, three of these in my property. Are you kidding me? And the way these grow, uh -huh. they they keep sending out these these suckers. So yeah. they cut. Right. Like th this once had like twenty stems. Wow. And they cut it down to six stems. Gotcha. Like, see, there's a little stem. See that stem coming up? Yeah, like I Like a do, one yeah. time that had like 20 like that. Wow. No, I love this. Do, you, do we know what this is called? Yeah, this is a, this is, um, a Reclinata. This is Phoenix Reclinata. It's $900. Holy smokes. Yeah, this is cool. I just, again, guys, you know, for me, looking at this, this is palms and tropical and jungle and also primitive, in my opinion, you know, giving me that look. I, I also think this is amazing. I think this is kind of cool too. But I like the multi-trunk look, you know, I like yeah. when there's there's a bunch this coming out. This is that European fan palm. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty. So it's from Europe, it's from like Southern yeah. Europe. Now, Incredible. you know what, 
See, if I want a turtle for 600 bucks, I just buy it. I know. But you buy this, how am I going to move it? Right, exactly. you got to plant it. That's why we got a friendship coming here yeah. with Kubota. I just need, uh, I actually need to um, get a trailer is what i got to get. Look at this. Oh, this Straight. is. I, oh but look, it's not vandal. Look, four grand. I mean, if, again, oh if you God. have the four grand to spend. If you have the four grand to spend. Canary but, Island Day Palm. I've got them, but they're, it's half the size. I mean, these take a long time to grow, but that's amazing. If you love plants, this is the most beautiful booth. Look at look at the olive. It's the olive tree. That that right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Look, 100, 100 year old. No way. See? That's amazing. 100 year old tree, $10,000. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, what's cool is for me, like, say you have. Um, you know, your leopard tortoises or your sulcatas, you can plant, or, or even like my buddy uh, Chris Leone, who's Garden State Turtle and Tortoise, he does a lot with Mediterranean tortoises. It'd be fun to create a really cool habitat uh, using the plants that are native to where these animals live. That, that excites me too. Like really understanding the ecosystem and trying to recreate it here in the enclosure. Um, what we're trying to do though is in the greater ecosystem on my property is we're trying to just create a really cool uh, experience as you wander from from enclosure to enclosure. I was trying to look out for stuff that you may like. Okay. There was bottle palms and you mentioned coconut palms. Yes. So, I mean, so there's a guy here on the back wall that has these beautiful bottle palms and coconut palms. Cool, because I was thinking maybe that would be something that could be, uh, you know, a canopy and then we'll have understory. Yes. I don't know, or how, when it officially grows and gets big, that's kind of the, I just love how when I walk into your garden, you've got these large palms and then there's the, you know, all the understory and it just looks really, really nice. And I'm trying to, Kind of emulate what you've done, to be perfectly yeah. honest. Now, how many tree, how many tree ferns you want? Because you can get ten now. Well, let's get ten. Okay. I'm not gonna. Hey, uh, we're the tree fern kids. We love. Oh, I things. love the tree. Ferns. Yeah, tree ferns are gonna be cool because um, they'll grow uh, beautifully in Looks this sweet. area. Because I, it's right, I right this place right here with the Bismarck palm. No, um, it's uh, like back back here. Okay, after cool. The lobby here. Oh, these bottle. These. Look at that bottle palm. Isn't that sick? Yeah, that's cool. That's like 30 it's almost, it's almost like a Buddha belly uh, yeah. bamboo. But so yeah. they got this size. They got this size. Um, I that's, thought, how tall do these get? They don't get super tall. But they get they're maybe, still a cool looking. Yeah, maybe they get 12 feet. Cool. So that's that's two thirds grown. Awesome. But look at the coconut. Yeah, coconut Is palm. It, no, you said Absolutely. you needed something. Yeah, I think those would be great just to kind of start growing up and be in an over, you know, the overstory. Hundred um, bucks. Wow, it's no, amazing. It's in Homestead, though. You gotta, we got to figure out how to get it from Homestead to your place. But it's just to let you know what's what's, what's available. Yeah. Wow. I thought these would be cool. I thought that would be cool. I thought the um, tree ferns would be cool. Okay. Yeah. And then bamboo. So oh, there's more bamboo. There's like um, I love it. Is that the Asian lemon? There it is. So oh. this is Asian lemon. It's smaller than the Hawaiian. Okay. It's good for a screen. Yep. Right? Interesting. You're good at this, Tom. No, yeah. I know this. I know my son. <laughs> I know. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and then, what is that? Textile? Uh, Malagensis yeah, or Seabreeze? Tex Seabreeze, yeah. Malagensis. That's another good screen. The, yeah. That's, but I that's like this the best, right? Yeah. yeah. I've got well, anymore. do you have brown and oils? Or the green anoles. Oh, no, the old school brown, like the Florida lizard, I call That's it. That's not whatever. a Florida lizard. That's oh, what's funny. Isn't? The green anoles are the old school so Florida lizard. So one invasive lizards. is eating another. Yeah, the Avi the, the, mm -hmm. those are Cuban brown anoles, and they're all over the state, and they're eating all the natives. The natives, if you look higher, you'll see perhaps the real pretty green anole. This is so, I could talk. Well, no, that's, that's the, that, like no, that's the, so that's the flip. That's the flip. Uh, that's what's fun. When I hang out with Tom, I'm learning about plants. Uh, and Tom's been helping me uh, create this jungle in my backyard. Awesome. So I'm trying to create, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen his place, it's insane. So I'm trying to create something like that. Um, but I, my whole mission with the animals is creating really cool environments for them to live in. Yeah, the enclosures. So we have, um, you know, we work with a company called Aquascape. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they've built a bunch of ponds. Water They're features, doing one for ponds. him. Yeah, so we've got a uh, Cayman enclosure, and I'm private. Do you have <clears> excuse me. I don't. I, I need five acres for that. I'm on two and a half. So I can have the, the crocodilians or alligators in Cayman. So I have a pair of large, full grown adult American alligators. There's a company called Our Plants. They'll, they'll just deliver it to your house. Really? They'll, they'll come, I'll come with 200 of something. We can, oh my God. we can, I mean, you don't have to get 200, but if I come down with C's, you might as well put up 200. Yeah, what is that type of allocation? It's in a type of alocasia. Um, there's your Monstera. Yep, we gotta get a um, few of oh, those. The, these ferns look so cool. Like they get big and beefy. Okay. I mean, I think they look very Jurassic Park-ish. Someone left a comment saying that you need this plant for um, that's that fire Creek. that firecracker. Bush, yeah, they, right? they said they said tell Kenan he needs some firecracker for Cayman's Creek. Well, you know what's sad is the firecracker we planted near Slinkies isn't doing so hot. Oh, yeah, so I it saw that. It needs water. It needs water, I guess. So no, I think it's the reverse. Oh, really? I think it's getting too much water. Oh boy, what do I know? All right, well, I better do some reading on firecracker bushes. I love heliconia. I think they looked at That's nice. I love heliconias. Yeah, those are cool. We so they got, they got two heliconias. They got this red one, and they got an orange one. You like that? You like the hibiscus? Yeah. Just for color and yeah. edible. That's good, too. Hi. Good. Hi, right, we're going to buy from you and have it brought to the job site. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Where are you guys located? Oh, okay, cool. All right, good. This is an interesting can it, can it. evergreen. But look at the variegated that. allocation. Yes. Heliconia. That's exactly, that's, I love that. That's exactly the vibe, man. That's exactly the vibe. Yes. Yeah, this is the booth. Look at even, even these. Look at this. I love, I, I like, I even like this. I like these. I like the, you know, I like that kind of, I, I, I don't know what it is, man. I just am drawn to that type of leaf, the way it's draping here and so on. Dude, there's so much in here. What is this? Oh, I have those. I was going to throw them away. Those? Throw them away? Yeah, no way, those dude. Are sense, those, are, those are snake, those are like the, the um, snake the, plant. The snake, the snake plant. But that, that's, a, that's a cylindrical one. I like that. That's interesting. This is the Perun shark catfish. It is one of my favorite catfish. It is from the Mekong River Basin and from Thailand, and they are critically endangered. This is due to overfishing and habitat destruction, mostly by building dams because they are migratory fish. It is the second largest catfish in the world. It can grow to a length of up to eight feet long and weigh well over 500 pounds although it has been a long time since anyone has caught a 500 pound Perun shark. It has a reputation of swallowing its tank mates, so you gotta be careful what you put in with it. I have slowed the video down so you can see the fish better. These fast moving pelagic fish love these large round tanks. This white shark is Pangaceus controphilus. Concho meaning shell and phyllis meaning love. So in short, it loves to eat shellfish. Therefore, it is the shell loving shark. This is a very fast moving catfish that reaches length up to four feet long. It is from the Mekong River Basin and from Thailand and it eats prawns and shellfish and that's about all the information I can find on this fish. It seems to be fairly rare. This is a 600 gallon tank that was shared by two large arowanas. This arowana beat up the other arowana, so I had to remove it from the tank. And then shortly after that, the arowana sat on the bottom and barely ate anything for weeks at a time. And I thought he was dying. Then I put these two shark cats in the tank and he eats like crazy and he swims all the time. I don't know if he's stressed out or not. Once I finish the 1100 gallon tank, I think I may put the arowana into that. 
So this right here is 1100 gallon tank. This is built out of two by fours, plywood, and pawn shield. A buddy of mine had a three quarter inch pane of glass that he sold me for 500 bucks. Got it? It's like 10 and a half feet by 40 inches. It's, it's been a work in progress for two or three years. I built plywood tanks in the past as a young man. Nothing this big. We want to clean both sides so both sides are clean. No, yeah, I need to move it there. first over there. Okay. No, just the clean side already when you get it over there. I know, but I need, to, I need to put it for, uh, He wants to more stand clothes. it over there. He wants to clean it over there. I'll talk about how I'm going to brace it once we get the pane of glass. So we've dropped it down on its face, and this is where we're going to put the pane of glass, right here. This is positively not a how to build a plywood aquarium. This is a, we built this aquarium during COVID and we're gonna pray it doesn't leak video. All the way back in here, okay? And pull the glass and put the silicone in here, everything in here, 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 and push it a little for the front. I'm okay, for that. I'm okay, okay. So you need, I need to put it down a little bit for past this side. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh. Okay, push all the way back. Wait, 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 wait. Watch out here in the front. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I gotta come back here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know. I think I'm thinking six tubes of silicone. I need to move first, a little bit more. More. Come on. Come on, you don't have to keep. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. A little bit more. All right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. We're not going to put it down yet, right? Because once we put it down, I don't know if we can get it back up. Well, there's a support over there. Let, let Are we square? Ah. What do you want? Keep going. Should we go slowly? I'm good. It's coming good. Good, okay. On your yeah. side, on your side. I'm, I have plenty of room. All right, room. right here too. It's good. Okay, push, push. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.